Today we're going to take you into the goat run. We're going to introduce you to our goats, Lido and Yo-Yo. We're going to show you a little bit of our setup inside our goat barn. Let's go and see them. Ready? So this side of the barn is where we keep the goats. They have free run of the place, but you'll notice there's a divider wall down the middle. That's to keep the hay and our feed all safe. We also do all of our milking on that side of the barn so that the other girls don't bother the goat that's getting milk. This barn we custom built with the wood from our own property. You'll notice all this wood, none of it's pressure treated, except for a few pieces around the frame and on the base. The fox stay in the goat is not so this is the girls half of the barn. They have free roam, they can eat, they can drink, it's nice and warm, it's not too drafty. Uh, you'll notice the other side of the barn over there, that's where we keep our hay stored, that's where we have our milking stand, that's where we store our feed. If you keep your feed buckets on the side with your goats, they're going to knock them over, bust them open, get into that feed and gorge themselves. But we do supplement their feed with pellets. It helps cut back on the hay consumption in the winter time. And when they eat a lot of hay throughout the winter, that means you have to bring more hay into the barn. You can see how nice these feeders work. It keeps the goat from pulling too much out at once. The goats are able to come over, pull out the hay that they want. They still waste some, but it cuts back on a lot of the waste. If you throw a bale of hay right on the ground, they're going to be peeing all over it. They're going to make a mess and more of the hay will be wasted. If you use a bin such as this, it's going to help you save, cut back on hay costs. Uh, so that's the first thing you want to do when you bring your goats home. This is where we hang our goats water. Uh, you'll notice that we hang it. We have it attached with this little clip. Goats like to knock over buckets and troughs. If you just set a bucket of water on the ground, they're going to have that knocked over in no time. Uh, so we make sure to hang our, hang our waters. And in the winter time, this will have an electric heater in it. This little trough here is for minerals. Uh, we like to let our goats free feed on their minerals. So we'll fill this up with the different min goat mineral and let them just come and eat whenever they want. Hey buddy, what are you standing on? Hay. That's right. This is where we store our hay. You'll notice we have some chicken wire separating the hay. The goats climb right up here and they pick at the hay through the wire. You see they've torn some holes in there. That's all right, they're eating the hay. It doesn't matter when they eat it. The next thing about goats, it sounds like they eat hay and meat. On this side of the barn, we decided we'd put our milk stand. We have running water and we even have a hard floor, which you can't see in the camera there, uh, but we have a hard floor here so we could run the water We could connect that to a hose. We could hose off the area. We could hose off our milk stand. That way we could keep everything really clean, separate from the hay, separate from the goats. Whenever you're milking, you want your milking quarters to be very clean. So this half of the barn has all that. And we also store our feed in here. Make sure to throw a lid on that in case raccoons were to sneak in in the night somehow or other critters. Uh, so we keep our feed, we have running water, which is with the frost-free hydrants. These things are a super big lifesaver on the farm. We talked about them in our last video. And over here is our milking stand. Right now it's not being used, we're just using it for a storage area. But come the springtime, we'll be having our girls up on there and we'll be milking them. Yeah, see? Hey folks. So... You know, if they, if you like go eat it fast, they would choke, right? Yeah. That wouldn't be good. See you back. Daddy, I was talking how to save up more hay bales. What were you telling them? Telling them. Another factor to good goat housing is good hay storage. Over the winter time, you want to have lots of hay put up right there in your goat barn so that you don't have to go pick up and deliver hay all winter long. You want to make sure that you have enough hay to last you the entire winter if that's possible. So how do you figure this out? On the extended version of this video, which is available for the Homesteady Pioneers, we explain our method of figuring out how much hay to put up for the year. Go to thisishomesteady.com and look into becoming a pioneer. You'll get access to all the extra podcasts, videos, all the bonuses in the Pioneers Only Library. 
at thisishomesteady.com. This is me. So that's our goat quarters. These girls are all dairy girls, and come springtime, hopefully we'll be getting some farm fresh milk uh, from our goats here on our farm. No, bud, we're coming. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Us. We'll see you next week on Homesteady. What are you doing, baby? You ready? Let's tell him to subscribe. Hey, kiddo. And this little one here is going to help teach you some. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? All of the things. All of the things. Don't forget to subscribe.